So let's just have a quick look at those numbers again as we were speaking. So if you took the last 60 years that have happened and you looked at each year in, in, uh, in its single capacity, on average there was an 8.6% growth in uh, average UK property. Now obviously we don't consider ourselves an average company, we don't consider, consider the sites that we'll be bringing to you as being average and we believe um, we'll be able to source sites where proposition is stronger, is greater, uh, there will be university towns, infrastructure towns, reasons behind um, the likely success of the, the areas that we'll be bringing to you and the specific proposition and averages are there to be beaten. But taking the average we've got 8.6%, assuming a 40% deposit and a 60% loan to value um, which is fairly conservative for current times, you would get a two and a half times multiple effect on that which would take you to 21.5%, uh, in other words, actual return on investment amount, not on the full uh, capital amount, and assuming an average year for the RAND, you would see a depreciation of the RAND of 4.5%, which added to your now sterling-based investment would give you in RAND terms 26% uh, for that year. This is um, a collection of averages. There will be wide variances on all of these. This is not a guarantee. This is not a statistical fact. This is an indication of a single year. We like to stress that investing in property is medium to long term investment. You certainly should have a minimum of a five year and preferably 10, 15 year um, investment strategy. And this allows compounding, pace of the compounding, obviously, uh, growth upon growth. Uh, could see a very, very substantial return coming away or accruing to you over time. Further to which we'll talk a little bit about how we bring uh, propositions that seek to be cash flow neutral. So while this investment is going on and has been uh, pledged in your name, you're not having a steady stream of um, top-up payments to make to cover your mortgage. In other words, it must stack to at least cash flow neutral to the mortgage level. That means uh, your bank money is covered and in many instances other costs on the propositions we put forward are covered, sometimes in exceptional cases even leading to minor degrees of income. So basic numbers for you, that's why we believe investing in the UK um, is a long-term strong proposition. Look out for my clip um, on the specifics of the current circumstances and environment, why we actually feel there's a unique opportunity um, we'll be posting that and further look out for the details of Blue Crane, our company itself, um, what makes our proposition unique and why we feel you should consider talking to us. Thank you very much for being with us today. It's Francis Hunt, uh, Director of Blue Crane Properties, signing off. Look forward to uh, having you watch the clip again soon. Goodbye.